Well, two days I should be back on my moorings. So last minute panics to get everything loaded onto the boat. Engine is all ready and there's been lots of lovely upgrades over the winter. So hopefully it should all go really well on a spring tide this Monday morning. Just have this little pile here to get onto my boat. A little difficult with a bad back as climbing up the mast the other day, I hurt my back. So everything today might look like it's in slow motion, but in actual fact, it's me. <laughs> And there's Sea Pigeon waiting. Uh, a nice Rockner new 20 kilogram anchor on the front. I still fighting the wind to be able to put up my main sail. So hopefully I'll get a break in the wind and do that today. Let's give you a tour of my immaculate Moody 33 Mark II. Well, I wasn't here at this point. Otherwise I would never have let him make a film of the boat when it's upside down like this. But there you go. As you can see, well looked after. One careful owner. All ready for two days time when I'm sailing. What could possibly go wrong? As you can see from downstairs, I've got an absolute mega amount of work to do at the moment. So I'm gonna start myself off with Nice ham sandwich, now that's what you call in the Midlands a bad hand because it's a bad hand to hold it. And since Maxine's not here, a whole bag of donuts. Superb. Well, it's blowing horrible and cold out there with a rainy day, so I decided to put the tent up and try that for size. This has all been waterproofed and washed and cleaned, so yep, still fits really nice. And while that's happening, just topping up with diesel. Finally starting the clean up. As you can see, there's a piece of floor over there now, look. But yeah, getting better. Well, here we are, we've managed to do it all. We've done every little job on the list and we have stocked up, cleaned up, replaced, renewed, and we're just ready for our brand new season. All the dry goods, all stored there, everything, flour, bread, popcorn. All the tin, well, just a few tins. A few more in there, but you know, it's just more of the same. And this cupboard's just for tea and coffee and other drinks. And then we've got the uh, alcohol, which of course we never use when we're sailing. No, never. Never. <laughs> well, that was a pretty mega day. You saw the start of the day. Now everything is immaculate, all cleaned dry, stocked with alcohol and naughty snacks, <laughs> just one or two. And yeah, the boat's ready to go on Monday. The only thing I haven't managed to do is put up the main sail as we've got a horrible wind blowing all day, but we'll have a hot, sunny, no wind day when I can get the main sail, but uh, topped up with fuel and ready to go on Monday morning. Woohoo! Woo Freedom! Yay! We're out of here. <laughs> Bye. Well, as we were staying on board, we thought we'd put the movie screen down and watch a movie. It was a little bit scary, so we didn't watch it all the way through, but it was all right. I love the rear tent. It always makes it so much cozier at night. The next morning, it's just a matter of untie the lines. Everything's done, we're all ready to go. Everything's working beautifully. Perfect. 
Well, this is the first time we've moved the boat in about six months almost. So it's always a bit tense. Just to make sure everything's working. Go forward. Hang on, there's, there's something wrong with it. <gasps> yeah, we need to get back. We have a steering problem. Well, we're Neil? having a bit of a panic. Yeah. Uh, we had to put the camera yeah, down the because there was no steering and we didn't want to run into anybody. Oh, no, we've been but in anyway, we've got everything worked out fine. No steering at all. Uh, I don't know, I've got to figure out how it's going to tie off to Neil. Okay, well that was my first jolt of adrenaline of the season. Probably won't be my last. I think that's why we like boating, it's why we sail. Everything's just so exciting. And we're moving. It's our turn to leave the lock. Is it steering all right now? Goodness. Yeah. What was it doing? No. Loads of room, not a problem. <laughs> Goodbye, turf locks. We are free. Cheers, guys! is a curly, sneaky, snidey, sneaky, sandbanky place. Be careful. I cannot tell you how good it feels to be sailing in open water once again. But there's a sad sight. Somebody's pride and joy didn't quite make it through the winter. It took us three attempts, but we finally made it onto the mooring. I think we're a bit rusty. Thank goodness for battery-powered dinghy pumps. To it once it's in. Now you can catch it. Quick top-up of the outboard engine with new fuel. And a steel ladder on the moving boat. Into a balloon. Into a balloon. <laughs> so we well done! Right there, yeah. Well, we're going to have a go putting the sails up, but there's a terrible thing called Sud's Law because every time I go to put the sails up, the wind just goes. How's it go, Neil? <laughs> Loads of hooli, so we shall see. And sure enough, Sod's Law kicked in and up came the wind, so we gave it. The weather for the next few days is forecast as being quite severe. It's already snowing in London and it's heading east. So we're going to give it a miss for a few days and then come back when the weather's a bit better. What is normally a great two-stroke engine and very reliable gave me troubles this time. This is due to the fact that I used two-stroke pre-mixed petrol left over in the bilges from last year. But eventually, Old Faithful started again. Oh, still filming. Oh my. Uh, However, getting me into the balloon, uh, oh my. Oh, the tender, what are you gonna do now? Okay. is another story. Oh, don't do that. 
Oh, well, let me do it. I'll do well, it. If you could pull me closer, then I'll untie. Hold, hold so hold exciting. I promise you, all he was trying to do was get me into the dinghy. Well, thank you for joining us. Please be so kind as to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.